Good morning. It's Monday, November the 5th, 2012. And this is your girl here, Zakia, uh, Miss Queenly and Confident. Hope that you have uh, begun your day with discovering the royalty that lives within you to live your best life. Hey, um, just want to come to you with a quick heart to heart, uh, about something that's just been, uh, kind of on my, on my heart and my head. Um, for the last few days um and a number of you all uh, are aware that I've been on this journey to um better myself in the area of my health uh, for about maybe about 2 years now um uh, a little under and um strides I've also um had some setbacks uh, but I continue to keep going because um, each and every time I continue to move forward, there's something else that I gain. There's something else that's uh, acquired, and they're not uh, they're not always uh, tangible, uh, but they're intangible, and they affect my heart and they affect my soul in a great way. Just wanted to mention something uh, relative to maybe the. The number of times that I might post things or whatever, um, primarily because um, I know that that sometimes there is this um, spirit of of jealousy sometimes that resi- that resides among people, um, knowingly or in uh, unknowingly. It it it's there, and I just want to just really share with people about the fact of why I post and why I put these milestones down and um, just, you know, to hopefully in hopes of people understanding that um, what I do um, and in the way in which it's done, that it has nothing to do about me. It has nothing to do uh, with me, but it has all to do what God is doing through me, through the power of Jesus Christ. Um, for so many years, um, I was a big, uh, can't girl. I can't do this or I won't do this or I ain't going to do this. And for many years that, that really, um, set me back some years. It, it held me back from really doing things. And a lot of it was wrapped in fear. Um, a lot of it was wrapped in the fact of how, uh, I always thought people perceived me. Now, I do not think at all that I have arrived. I still deal with fear, but I can tell you that in 2012, um, that God has really been able to break down and to get through some of my own personal mental barriers that I've had for so many years to, uh, be able to get me to the point of where I it will say, I'll do, or, you know, even I'll try, or, or, or some days, you know, or I'll attempt to, and you know what, 99% of the time, it gets done, it, it really gets done, and so, um, I just posted a map of Six Flags, and how, you know, when I went back this morning, uh, God led me to go back to reflect, and I can tell you that, um, you know, six months ago or if you want to talk a year I couldn't have I couldn't have walked that park as much as I did yesterday you know and still be able to walk and even you know I anticipated this morning just just letting you know from where I come from I anticipated this morning you know getting up walking to a shuffle but you know God is so good and he is so kind and merciful that I could actually just get up and walk my normal walk pattern this morning and not feel like my legs is about to fall from up under me. Um, and that may not be um, a big deal to some people. But for me, that's a big deal. And as much as I said I was not going to cry, um, the tears are coming. Um Because if you've never walked down... This road of of obesity and trying to combat it, you will never know uh, the stresses, uh, the strains that it has on your body, 
Um, you know, you're trying to walk with the group, but you're behind yeah, everybody else and they, they'll slow up, you know, the nice ones usually will slow up and wait for you to get there. Um, or the feeling of feeling like maybe your, your, your heart is about to pop out your chest because you're just trying to, uh, catch your breath and just from a brief stroll, you know, of like five minutes or less. And so, um, uh, I'm, you know, I have something to reflect on this week with this, you know, uh, and so, you know, um, my postings, uh, this video, others that I share, they're simply for the woman who, who thinks that she's going to be overweight and going to die overweight forever. It's the, my postings are for the woman who feels like she can't even make the first step to trying to get herself together and I know that there's some who have to have weight loss surgery you know um but I've been pretty adamant that I just I don't want to go that route and I just admire people like you know Jeanette Colatino and others who have um and like Shalita Williams who have just done this with um without like any drugs you know they may take a few natural supplements here there but I believe it can be done when you really commit to it and really do your homework to actually find out what's going to be best to, you know, I'm just going to keep it real. Your doctors, the nurses, the medical professionals, they know pretty much what the book says and how stuff goes, you know, but all the time your body ain't going to respond. It's not going to do what the book, you know, or what they, or what they actually say, uh, in some cases, I, I, let me just say, at least for my body. And so I've had to do research. I've had to try out different things. I've had to, you know, consult with, you know, people like Bess Blanco, who really helped me with, um, various eating options and really understanding what I could and what I, I, I couldn't eat, um, at this particular, uh, point, you know, to really move because, um, I, uh, have been, really working to get past this plateau. Um, and, um, you know, I'm proud to even say that last week, um, I hit the, I was there at the gym every day, except for Thursday, because I had a very long day. I had to work all day, but I was there Friday and I was there Saturday. And so Sunday was, uh, the work I had to do at Six Flags with the walk in there. So that was, uh, quite a bit of cardio that I got in there, but, um, I'm just, I'm just here to tell you it can be done. You know, when you make your mind up that you want to feel better, when you make your mind up that you want to be, you know, obedient to God as, as much as you can, you know, um, to really, to really be able to live out your destiny and fulfill the calling that he has in your life. Because I'm going to tell you this, you can go chase your dreams. You can do this, but if you are not healthy or in a position to do so, you were not going to be able to last. So while you chasing the dream, you chasing your finances, you, 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 you chasing love or whatever it is that you may be chasing, you got to get your temple together. You, you got to get your temple together. You know, um, and I know I'm doing this video. You all, you, you don't see me looking this rough, but this is, I, I, I had to get this message out this morning. Um, I had to get this message out this morning. Um, because it, it been on my, it been on my mind, been on my heart for a while. And that's my reasons why. And I, I believe that I am an ambassador. I know what I, I am an ambassador. Let me correct that. Let me, let me give the affirmative. I know that God has called me as an ambassador to, to women who deal or will deal with some of the same issues, who deal with some of the same habits and, um, and things that I've, uh, that I've, uh, that I've dealt with and some things that I still go through, you know? Um, but I, I, I know that it's, it's so worth it. It's, much accomplished when you get rid of a whole bunch of head junk <laughs> you know uh I, latara calls it like mind clutter she calls it mind clutter um and i took one of her uh mind clutter class i think that's the one i took but um 
It's head junk. It's a whole bunch of head junk. A whole bunch of stuff that you said to yourself that your um, environments have inadvertently um, said to you. You know, things that have just been ingrained in you. I can't think of the word to really put on it right now. Just a bunch of junk. Yeah, just a bunch of junk. And, you know, you you have to go through a, a process and a series of uh, uh, reprogramming yourself, you know, uh, renewing the mind, as the Bible tells us, that we, sh- that we should do. And it ain't easy, but I'm going to tell you this. If you really and truly, fully ready for some change, you're going to do it. You are going to do it. And so I'm going to get ready to close this out because this has probably been the longest video I've ever done. But I, this is a heart to heart and I needed to say it. And so I hope that you have a marvelous Monday and, and remember that you matter so much, uh, more than you'll ever know. Uh, because more than anything, we matter to God because we're his creations, the fearfully and wonderfully made creations that he made us to be. And so I, um, uh, I thank you for those of you who've sent, you know, your notes and, and, and comments of encouragement, those inboxes who, who, who share privately their own struggles or who talk to me, um, who talked to me about some of the things that they are going through and even some of the things, uh, some suggestions and things. I don't, God knows I don't claim to know it all. Um, but I, I read a lot. I ask questions a lot. I'll just tell you some folks I ask and it's clearly they want a dollar. And, um, but, um, but I will just tell you for all those who have not answered, God has positioned me with the right people who do answer and who want to, um, Truly help people succeed and accomplish their goals. So this is Zakia, um, Miss Queenly and Confident, um, <laughs> and I am I am I am Miss Queenly and Confident. Yeah, uh, it's a process. It's a process that I think we all go through. Hope that you are discovering the royalty that lives within you to live your best life. Be sure to visit us in the Queendom at www.queenlyandconfident.com and make it the best because you come from the best. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.